As voting ends in the Labour leadership contest, the current leader has promised he'll be the same Jeremy Corbyn if he wins. But Mr Corbyn said he would wipe the slate clean after the divisions of the summer and the criticism that's been levelled at him by his own MPs. He's been speaking to our political editor, Laura Koonsberg. <laughs> He's on the edge of winning the Labour leadership for the second time round. I've got a bigger olive tree. Jeremy Corbyn has an olive tree on his balcony. A few branches might come in handy after months of division and distress. It's almost like Labour has a split personality between its MPs and the growing membership. That I invite all my colleagues in Parliament to recognise there's an awful lot we agree on. And I tell you, I've had an awful lot of calls from Labour MPs in the last few days who are very interested in how we come together after the 24th. Throughout most of the, the last year, the issues haven't necessarily have been about disagreement over policy, they've often have been about your ability to lead the party. So what will be different about Jeremy Corbyn Mark II? Sadly for everyone it's the same Jeremy Corbyn who's been through the last year, indeed been through the last 30 years in Parliament. When you have 172 out of 230 of your MPs who are representing 9 million Labour voters saying they had questions about your competence. Don't you think you do have to change some things about how you operate? Despite a lot of very unpleasant remarks that have been made about me by a very large number of Labour MPs, I've not replied to any of them. Wipe the state clean and move forward. He won't yet agree to MPs' demands to choose the shadow cabinet, nor change how the leader is picked. Well, under the old system, uh, an MP would be worth several thousand party members' votes. I don't think that's a very good way of doing things. He is on their side, and they're on his. Jeremy Corbyn's incredible network of supporters, convinced he's the future, convinced he will and should win. We are... Um, we are winning. If you can think of one or maybe two words that you believe should be the priority for the next Labour leader. Turn over your cards. Social justice. Intersectional feminism. NHS and affordable housing. My question to other people is why should he not be given a chance just like all the other politicians have been given. We feel differently about him and we feel he can do something. Well, I believe that he's just a principled and authentic person. His uh, unequivocal political stance, it kind of uh, encourages... I think it, I find it encouraging because you don't really find that in many politicians these days. There's a serious divide within our party. Um, we can't get back to business without reconciliation. What's more important to you as the party leader? Keeping the membership happy, growing the membership, or winning power? All three things go together. The membership needs to be content with the general direction the party's going, needs to be active and on board and included, and feel included and have their voice included in policy making. That, in turn, translates into this campaigning activity. Some people might say you shouldn't mistake that enthusiasm for something that would translate into general election success. 20,000 people used to turn up to hear Michael Foote speak, and he never got anywhere near power. Michael Foote did a great job and did his best. We are going to do even better. Which is more of a priority to you? Keeping the members happy or winning power? Because leaders often have to make that choice. You take the members with you in order to win the whole country. The members, the party, the leader and the electorate have all got to go in the same direction. Jeremy Corbyn will almost certainly keep this office at the weekend. Okay, kids, all right. But waving at crowds is only part of the job. Laura Kunzberg, BBC News, Westminster.